Goodbye plastic, goodbye waste. It's a new era of shampoo, not a second too late. Be good to the earth, be good to your hair. While singing in the shower, totally bare. Luscious Godiva Shampoo Bar is a two-in-one bar that conditions and shampoos, made to keep your hair healthy and strong. These little guys do not require plastic packaging and are totally naked. The bar was named after the famed naked protest of Lady Godiva. The story goes that an English noblewoman rode unclothed through the streets of England to protest against unfair taxes. Legend has it that the only thing covering her lady bits during her ride was her long, luscious hair. Over the centuries, the story became known for this particular detail, and the protest of Lady Godiva and her long locks continues to be told to this day. The first step to making these shampoo bars is to make an extract from hibiscus flowers and olive oil. The dried hibiscus flowers are wrapped in a cheesecloth and left to steep inside a pot with olive oil. Olive oil can increase the tensile strength of your hair, which prevents breakage. It's also richly moisturizing, which leaves your hair looking shiny. While the extract is steeping, ingredients that will make up the conditioner in the shampoo bars are combined into a pot. Cocoa butter, shea butter, and kapua su butter are combined with a number of oils that act as natural conditioners to soften your hair. All ingredients are then melted down with the hibiscus extract until it forms a thick orange substance. The orange mixture is taken off the stove, cooled, and poured into a tray to be taken to the cooling room to harden. After being cooled, the mixture is cut into tiny squares. These cute little cubes are now conditioner. Now let's see how the shampoo is made. The shampoo portion of the bar contains whole dried jasmine flowers, gardenia extract, and a mixture of essential oils. Sodium laurel sulfate is a safe surfactant that produces the rich lather that you use to clean your hair. In the mixing room, the sulfates, gardenia extract, and essential oils are poured into a large mixer. The gardenia extract is what makes the mixture yellow. After these shampoo ingredients are fully mixed, the chunks of conditioner are added and combined. The whole dried jasmine flowers are one of the last ingredients to be added to make sure they don't break during the mixing process. Periodically, the mixture is tested for consistency. It is important that it is firm enough to hold together. is taken to be pressed into bars. It often takes several attempts to get bars to the exact size and weight required for the perfect Godiva shampoo bar. It can't be too loose. It can't be too thick. It has to be just right. 2.5 centimeters thick, 5 centimeters in diameter to be precise. Although they may look small, these bars last up to 80 washes. That's the equivalent of two to three eight fluid ounce bottles. Once the bars are all pressed, they are packaged and sent to your local Lush store. Last year alone, just over two million plastic bottles were not manufactured because customers chose to buy Lush's solid shampoo instead of a bottled product. That's a lot of plastic that could have ended up in the garbage. So, if you're looking to be more environmentally friendly or just want to shake up your shower routine, these little bars could be your new best friend. Hey YouTube, thank you so much for watching Refinery29. For more videos, click here, and to subscribe, click here. See ya!